Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Training Channel. Please subscribe and like the video. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the heat transfer coefficient using ComSol Multiphysics. To start, click on Model Wizard and select 2D because we have a 2D example. In this section, we select laminar flow for modeling fluid flow and heat transfer in fluids for modeling heat transfer. In this example, we want the system to be at steady state, so we select stationary. First, we define the parameters for this example, including inlet velocity, inlet temperature, and heat flux. Next, we create the geometry and select air as the fluid from the liquid and gases tree. We then go to laminar flow and define the inlet and outlet boundary conditions. The inlet velocity is U, I, and the outlet boundary is set to relative atmospheric pressure, which is zero. Now, we define the boundary condition for heat transfer. The inlet temperature is T, I, and for the outlet, we select outflow. We also set the heat flux boundary as Q. Next, we go to fluid and select the velocity of laminar flow for the convection term to couple it with fluid flow. Then, we go to mesh and create the mesh. Now we run the model. This is the velocity distribution. At the walls, the velocity is zero, so we have a fluid boundary layer. This is the temperature distribution. At the heated wall, there is a significant temperature gradient because the heat flux entering this wall causes an increase in temperature. Now, we define the heat transfer coefficient as a function of bulk and wall temperature in the variable section. Run the model again. It is better to check for mesh independence. So, we select different meshes and calculate the heat transfer coefficient to achieve mesh independence.
Different mesh selections show that the difference between normal and fine mesh is insignificant, so we select the normal mesh as the optimized mesh. Now, we want to calculate the heat transfer coefficient as a function of inlet velocity. We select a parametric study. As the inlet velocity increases, the heat transfer coefficient increases because increasing velocity enhances heat convection. You can see that the thermal boundary layer decreases as the inlet velocity increases. Thank you for watching the video.